Hey guys, today we're going to build a butterfly chart, also known as a tornado chart in Fixel. The chart we're going to build looks something like this. So the first thing we need to do is drop in a column chart. So I'm going to click on insert elements and stacked column, and I'll drop that in. Next, I'm going to go into the data. So I've prepared some data, which is the distribution of the Australian population split by males and females. First, I'm going to grab the labels here. And because my labels are listed uh, vertically, not horizontally, I'm going to click on a button here, which says transpose sheet. Then I'll drop my labels in the category column. Next thing, I'm just going to delete all the uh, dummy data. And then we'll go back into Excel. This time I'll copy the males data and I'll drop that in and label it males. Cool, so now the data is in ThinkCell. The next thing we need to do is format it so it looks more like a butterfly chart. So I'll click on the chart. I'm gonna rotate this to the left, change the size. And here you can see already we have half of the butterfly chart. So it's important when you have the first half that you do all of the formatting because we're going to copy this chart later. And if we do the formatting now, it means we don't have to do it twice. So I'm going to do a few things. I'm going to grab all of the labels and I'm going to change the format. So I think the most appropriate format is probably millions. So I'm going to type in 1.00 and change this to the power of six. The, uh, Perfect. I'm going to make males bold and I'll change the color of the chart. Finally, I'm just going to change these labels to be centered and bolded. So now the next thing we do is duplicate this chart. I'm going to hold control and drag the chart. And now we have a duplicate. And this time I'm gonna replace the males data with the females data. So let's go back into Excel. Grab the females, copy, double click on the chart, drop the females data in and relabel. Cool. Now we'll do a similar thing that we did before, which is we can rotate the chart. So I'm gonna grab this anchor point, drag it to the right hand side, now you can see we have two sets of category labels. So I'm going to highlight one of them by holding control and clicking on the first and the last label and hit delete. Now we line these two up. Looks pretty close. So now I'm going to hold control, click on both of the charts and drag them towards the center and drag them up slightly. That looks good. Now the last thing we need to do, which is very important, is we need to set them both to the same scale. Um, the best way to do this is to add an axis in, click on the axes and hit same scale. So I'll show you how that's done. Right click, add an axis. Right click here, add an axis. Now let's hold control and click on both of these axes. Right click and click this button, which is set same scale. Now this just means that no matter what happens with the data, the scale on the male's data and the scale on the female's data will always be the same. So always have the same starting point and the same ending point. So now we can delete those axes and drag the labels back to the top. So I'll do males and now females. And that's it. That's how you build a butterfly chart or a tornado chart in ThinkCell. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them in the comment box down below. Hope that was useful.